Hey, big heads up for all you guys out there uh, that have heard about uh, Kamala Harris's capital gains tax and proposal to raise unrealized gains by 25%, up to 25%. Look, this is not political. I'm just giving you some information about your finances and your money. Uh, If you're in housing or you own stocks, this will destroy the middle class. Absolutely. I don't know what's going on with their administration, why they're coming up with some of these proposals, or if they even expect to really try to push them through or not. I don't know. I can tell you this as somebody that's studied tax. I have an accounting degree. I've studied tax. I've been investing in real estate and doing my best, proudly to say, to reduce my federal tax bill every year. I don't mind paying local taxes. I hate paying federal taxes. So if you are in real estate, you hate paying the IRS, you own a home, your mom, your grandmother uh, own a home and they got equity, or you're a real estate agent or a broker or investor, I'm just going to tell you how this affects everybody, okay? Again, this is not Democrat, Republican, or whatever. So I know a lot of you guys out there hate Donald Trump. But do you hate him so much that you would pay $200,000 extra to the federal government to sell your house? Like this election, you guys really need to look at your money and your finances. America's at a critical point. We're probably in more economic trouble than I've ever seen this country in my lifetime. I'm 66 years old, so I've seen a few cycles now. And again, this is not me trying to get you to vote for anybody, but but people should take a better look at their finances. If she pulls this off and can increase the capital gains, I just did some math here so you know what it is. The average home in America is $440,000. You would have to increase the price of that home 50% by 208,000, almost a full 50%. Would have to go from 440 to 648 for you to make the same amount of money. So you would have to take your house, that's 440,000 average price of a home in this country is 440 and they would immediately all go to 648 if every seller said, I want to make a certain amount of money on my house, why? because I've been investing in this house my whole life. It's the only investment I have. I'm ready to retire and I want to make my profit. And I don't want to share half of it with the government. Uh, it was It's not fair to somebody that just sold yesterday and didn't have this capital gains problem. By the way, they just passed this in Canada. It wasn't 45% capital gains, so it was 64%. So this can happen in this country and they're threatening to do it. Okay, now this is what happens. If if they pull this off, the average home goes from 440, you real estate agents, real estate brokers and investors, and immediately the price of that house, if they're a builder, a seller, they've owned a house for a while and they want to sell their house, they're going to take that up to 648. Well, the average mortgage in this country today is unaffordable for most families. We have the lowest mortgage applications since 1996. 30 years ago, We had 70 million fewer people that lived in America, not counting the illegal immigrants, probably 11 to 15 million illegals that they're proposing in California. This is how crazy this is getting. California is proposing that they give 2 million illegal immigrants no money down loans on a home, and they won't give that to you guys in California. Okay? So let me just stay on track here. First, the price of the home goes up 248. Second, rich people that own a home be like, fucking, I ain't going to sell my house. I'll just keep it and turn it into a rental. Third, the people that want to buy a house don't have to pay 440 anymore. They're going to have to pay 640 and their mortgage is going to go from 3000. We can't even get anybody approved on a mortgage today, okay? The mortgage goes from 3000 to 4300 dollars overnight before HOA, before property taxes, before maintenance, okay? Before PMI, is it PMI? Yeah, PMI, which is a 2% charge on your loan amount by the banks to insure their mortgage that they gave you. Your down payment goes up, your payment goes up, your interest payment goes up, your taxes on the property go up. And and when you sell it, let's say one day you you wanna make, let's say you bought the house for 648, held on to it, and you get to sell it for a million and 48, your 400 grand, this is the worst part of it, your 400 grand profit that you finally made on this house, maybe paid the house off, and then, and then, 20 years from now, you you go to sell the house to make your profit, half of that's going to go to the federal government. Now, I know a lot of you guys don't like what's going on politically right now. There's a lot of rhetoric. There's noise. Freaking people angry, division. Don't worry about all that. Don't vote your politics. Vote your finances. If you're a real estate agent or a broker, share this with your friends because it'll decimate your ability to sell a house 
and make a brokerage free. If you're an investor in real estate, you're buying real estate, you want to buy as much as you can right now because what's going to happen is uh, private owners like myself, okay, and that have long-term capital, we have investors that will invest for long periods of time, these assets won't be traded again. So you'll have this massive shortage. Now, this is going to be good for the Black Rocks and the institutions and, and guys that think like me because we'll just own assets, Okay, put long-term debt on them, pay the debt down over long periods of time and go back to the bank over and over and over again and pull proceeds out that are never taxed because that's excluded in her bill. Okay, hope this helps. Uh, share it with your friends, investors, real estate agent, brokers. Uh, this is just the numbers, folks. If I've, if I've given you a number here that's wrong, uh, fewer homes will be sold. Inventory problem that we already have a 4 million houses short will probably go to like 8 million overnight. Um, and the price of every home in America and the mortgage will go up by 50%. God bless. Be great. Good luck investing in real estate. By the way, it's still a great deal. Buy as much as you can right now before this thing happens, if it happens. And, and wish, hope, and pray and vote that it never happens. <music> <laughs>